there. Oh, did you know up city about, well, about um, being a sponge and all, and that you can hold a lot of water. But and, he can't hold a pencil. Right, but he can't hold a pencil. But see, the thing is about a sponge is he just goes living his life like that. A very simple, simple, you know, multicellular animal uh, being a sponge holding water. And then Seagull comes along and Seagull's like, hey, that's a great idea. Maybe I'll be able to get a sandwich with that sponge. And so he takes the, the, the seagull, takes the freshwater sponge, and uh, he goes to the beach where all the people are sunbathing and they all have sandwiches. And he takes that sponge to the beach and he distracts them. He distracts them with the sponge because uh, all the people are like, what a great idea, a sponge where it could just soak up water and stuff. And uh, everybody's like, seagull, what an amazing idea that you, you know, you have this sponge and it holds water. And uh, so Seagull distracts him with the sponge, like, look, sponge, and turns around and grabs the sandwich and flies off. And so the moral of the story is that if you're like a sponge and you're real quiet and stuff and simple cellular organism, then uh, you're just going to sit in a stagnant pool of all your life. But if you're obnoxious like a seagull, then you get the sandwich. And so um, that's, that's, that's the moral of that story. That's one uh, that Aesop's Aesop's a, um, Aesop's fables that didn't didn't um, get out there too much. <laughs>